Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35 at 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. We air Monday through Friday, and these episodes are taped at Manhattan Neighborhood Network. It is not yet a live show. In fact, we prefer it to be taped. So if you come right here on the mats and stretch with us today, for example, your episodes will air in about a month from now. So you have enough time to let all your friends and family know to watch you on TV. And maybe once they watch you and they feel inspired, motivated, maybe they'll come and stretch with us. We want to make this a yoga fitness movement. We want to infect in a very happy way, infect everyone with the joy of stretching. That's all we ask you to do. If you can move, you can stretch. There is no foot behind the neck. We don't stand on our heads. Do we guys, do we put our foot behind our neck? Do no, we no. funny pretzel postures? We just do simple stretches. All you're doing is bone to bone is connected by tendons. And you have bone to muscle connected by cartilage. What you're doing is you're just giving yourself a wonderful stretch of all these tendons, the cartilage, and just helping release all those happy juices called endorphins when you stretch. So if you're already stretching, why not do it mindfully? Because that's the little extra we provide you. We teach you how to breathe into your stretches so you are safe when you stretch. You know how sometimes we have a little, what do you call it, a charley horse, you suddenly have a pull. Oh, I do have that all the time. Yeah. That's because, you know, you might have just woken up and you're stretching in the wrong direction or something. Your muscles are not ready. What we do is teach them to breathe into those stretches. To my left, we have Ron Thomas. Ron is a producer here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Ron, Ron, you have a show called Big Talk. Big Talk, yes. And you've had an amazing theme. The last um, couple of episodes you shared with us, you were talking about minerals. Conflict minerals. Conflict minerals. Right, so basically it's using child labor, right? Isn't that what the topic was about? Child labor, um, abuse of women. Abuse of women. Uh, also, there was another thing to do with conflict cocoa, population. I think. They had child labor in Africa somewhere. In the Congo, Central Africa. Right, they had children actually mm -hmm. harvesting the cocoa pods. And they do it for all minerals that are germane to uh, automobiles, computers, wow. cameras. You're really electronic minded, are you? Because yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I, I believe what you're Strategic saying. Strategic minerals that came out of the space program. It went up in the Apollo and Gemini they harvest program. that in, in Africa? You have to have certain minerals to be able to make those electronics work. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I need a little lesson on that now. I need to update myself, keep and myself up. Central Africa is rich, and particularly in those minerals. Yeah. Okay. So you've obviously done your homework. Yeah. Afghanistan has a lot of that too. But. Right, it's a little tough to do some harvesting there while you're still fighting. Yeah. fighting unseen enemies but you know what whatever the unrest that people have in their country or in their hearts all you need to do is just stretch and look inside and you're gonna find the peace it's all it's within all of us we're not doing any magic here we don't teach you to levitate we do not you know take you on a flying carpet we don't teach you to pull a jumbo with your teeth all we're doing is just feeling happy when we stretch that said i'd like to reintroduce rob harper rob you have an amazing title that job just isn't into you i'm going to give you the honor of holding it up to sure. cameras i know josiane heard our director is flying solo today so she may need a few moments to focus on that Rob's uh, credits are up there on the screen at the bottom left. If you want to get hold of Rob, that job just isn't into you. Starting over when it's over, please feel free to contact Rob. Rob, tell, tell them also verbally what the uh, web link is. Sure, you can uh, follow me uh, on Twitter at RobJH1. Also, my website is uh, aboutme.robjharper. You can see my website there and on the website I talk about myself as well as my book. That job just is it, is it into you starting over when it's over. 
very inspiring. I love the title, I love the content, I love the concept. So yes. share with us another couple of examples from the book. Sure. Well, first of all, thank you for having me back oh, on pleasure. Yoga Express. I really enjoy myself here. And it's another way of uh, releasing all the tension and the stress when you don't have a job. Right. You always want to look for uh, ways to compensate that stress that you find building up inside. Right. Now, as far as the book, I interviewed, in addition to myself, like 10 other individuals who went through the same thing, a job loss. And uh, they shared their stories. Either they had lost their job or they were on a job and they wanted to make a transition. Right. One story that really stands out in my mind is a uh, young lady who wanted to be a doctor. Well, she thought she wanted to be a doctor. Oh, right. okay. Yes, she started out as a school teacher, teaching sixth grade. Then she went back to school to get her doctor's degree, medical doctor. Wow. Uh, she got there's all the way. There's hope for me. Yeah, yes, there's <laughs> always hope. She got all the way through her, passed all the exams and whatnot, and when she was about to go to medical school, she changed her mind. She realized that's not what she wanted to do. Wow. <laughs> Interestingly enough, she realized that that profession wasn't into her, and she wasn't into the profession. So she went back to school and got a master's degree in social work. Did and that's where her passion, wow. that's where her passion lied. Fantastic. So from being a school teacher to wanting to be a doctor, right. I started out, took the test and everything. She was actually, uh, in, I think, in a local hospital, uh, oh. you know, doing rounds and whatnot. And they realized it wasn't for her, you know. And another example, as I have in the book, I share is an example of a broker on the job, thought that he liked it, things played out not in his best interest, so he was laid off. And he actually went back to school and started teaching, uh, what was it? Uh, ballroom dancing. Ballroom dancing, Just completely like different profession. Yes, yes. Oh and I think God. that we all have that inside of us. Right. We're doing what we think we want to do or what our friends or our parents told us what we should do as opposed to following our true passion. Right, and also we try to do what we are good at. Exactly. Instead of taking something as a challenge and where we are more passionate, right. we find out that we can be much better at that. Absolutely. At something we are more passionate Absolutely. about, right? Absolutely, but we're afraid to fail, so That's we don't right. do it. You know, so. I, I was uh, scanning through a couple of uh, lines. I was just flipping through the pages. Yes. You have a very nice, chatty style of writing. Yes. You're making it very accessible to everybody. Exactly. One of the things that I didn't want to do when I started out writing, my background, I was a journalist. I started out writing like like really like preachy kind of way, right. and giving facts. And I thought, you know, once you've lost a job or you're on a job that you don't Life. It's the last you don't, thing you right, want to hear. You don't want to hear someone <laughs> preaching and you don't want to read something that's really detailed or whatnot. You want to get in and get out. Tell me what I need to do. Right. Give me some, some suggestions right. and then I will look at it and then I'll start over. Prop me and up and I'll start Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And we're in a society now where people don't like to just sit there and read long volumes and chapters. They want it quick True. and simple. That's so right. Hopefully, I, I think that's what I've accomplished. <laughs> 106 sure. pages, so it's a quick read. You went to school for journalism? Yes, I did. Yes, a quick read, you know, and you can yeah. find the book at any bookstore or, or online. Just type in that job dresses it into you. You could download it too. So Google Rob Harper, or Google the book itself, that job just isn't into you. And downloading is very minimal. Obviously, we're not allowed to tell you how much, but it's so minimal. It's really worth the investment. Yes. You'll get a lot of value out of this book. And you know what? When you when you're not at work and not in a nine to five job, you do have that little bit of extra time. I think it's a good idea to read this book. It'll give you a solid foundation. I love your style. I love Thank the title. Thank you. Definitely inspirational. Very timely. Thank Very you. timely. Thank you. That's it. Let's all start feeling good about ourselves. And before I forget my manners, I'd like to also acknowledge Deshaun Pratlow, responsible for the studio lights and the settings, and body music by Cesar De Para, opening track from Sapta Tandavam. So we're going to stand up. We're going to continue from where we left off in the last episode. We're going to complete the standing postures, go into seated through the sequence. And I'm just going to very briefly hint to you, we're going to use this postcard with 48 simple stretches. So that's what we're doing. That's my little cheat sheet right there. If you come stretch with us, we'll give you a copy of that plus a few other goodies. And you can take all this experience with you. Now, keep your heels. Uh, keep your heels apart just a little bit so the insides of your feet are parallel. Palms in front of your chest. I'm the shortest, so maybe I should come forward. Inhale, take your arms up. 
and then cross your palms over. Hold on to the opposite elbows. Wiggle your biceps behind your ears. We're going to fold over into a posture called Uttan Asan. Uttan is simply forward fold. Exhale, fold from the hip. While we're holding this posture for a few seconds more, it's a good idea to remember most of the, in fact, almost all yoga postures rely on gravity. So all that talk about levitating, that's literally up in the air. There isn't any such thing, at least I've never seen anyone or never experienced levitation. It's about gravity, it's about moving with gravity, moving with your breath, doing the best you can. In this posture, you should feel a delicious stretch in the back of your legs. Inhale, come up with a straight back. And then actually, we probably could have transitioned directly into the next one, but I needed to make room. I need to go back just a little bit. Now, let's go over one more time. From Uttan, place your palms down on the floor, six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back and then the right. Exhale, press your heels down into Downward Facing Dog or Adho Mukhishwanasana Parvat. Another name is Parvat or Mountain. Hold this posture and for a couple of breaths, inhale and exhale through the belly. Dip your head between your biceps and breathe. One more breath. Remember, every time you exhale, you are detoxing. You're actually sending all those obnoxious gases out of your body. Now, very gracefully, bring your left foot between the hands. Place the right knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes in the right foot. Ashwa Sanchala. You might recall this as part of the sun salutation. Both hands on the left knee. Exhale and dip. Ashwini is horse. Ashwa Sanchala, like a horse. Now, we take you into another deeper twist. Take this one step further. Inhale, take the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over your left knee. Left palm on top of the right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Parswa Kona Namaskara. Parswa is intense. Kona is corner. Namaskara is prayer. Intense prayer twist. You should feel a wonderful stretch of your obliques on the right side. Beautiful compression on the left side. Inhale. Let's come out of that and let's switch legs this time. Now this is a tricky part. You don't want to do, you want to do it in controlled motion. Do it gracefully. Bring the right foot forward. Left leg, go, left leg goes back, right foot comes forward. Both palms on the right knee, exhale and dip. Right knee is up, inhale the left arm up, exhale. Dip your left elbow over the right knee, right palm on top of the left. Does involve a little bit of balance, keep your mind on your posture, stay focused. Right palm on top of the left, look up at the raised elbow and hold. Parsva Kona Namaskara. Inhale, come out of that. And let's come on all fours. Take your right leg back. Let's come on hands and knees. Hands are directly below the shoulders. Knees are directly below the hips. Toes are curled in. Fingers are splayed. So you're distributing your body energy. You're distributing a body weight evenly. Bring your elbows in. That'll help you stay up. It's... You want to keep your elbows straight but not stiff. You shouldn't tense up. Just relax a little bit. Now, we're going to ex inhale first and we're going to dip our torso, dip our belly, lift our chin and chest and buttocks up. And then as we exhale, we'll uncurl the toes and arch the back. Cat position, Marjorie or cat. Inhale and dip. Exhale, uncurl your toes, arch your back. One more time to redeem ourselves. Curl your toes in. Inhale and dip. Bend your elbows now. Exhale. Uncurl your toes. Arch your back. Let's come into neutral position. Bring your knees close to your palms and come up on your knees. Kimball, we do have a mat for you. The red one is just for you. I'm going to pull the curtain. Okay, let's come up on our knees and bring your knees apart, about hip width apart. Place both your palms. That's Kimball Hinton drawing the curtain. drapes behind us. He is window shopping. He refuses to come stretching with us. 
up both palms on your buttocks, push your elbows back, inhale, lift your chin up. Very gently, as we exhale, glide your palms down the back of your thighs. Right hand reaches for the right heel, left hand reaches for the left heel. Tilt your head back once you've made the connection and tilt your pelvis forward. Ustra or camel. Now, if you do not want to go all the way back today, that's okay. Do what Ron's doing. Place your palms in the back of your thighs. Just feel a compression in your low back. You want to strengthen your low back and open up your chest. Inhale, one hand at a time, back on your buttocks. Exhale and sit on your heels from Ustra or Camel. Now it might feel, your back may feel a little bit tight, so you're actually strengthening your back when you do that. And we're gonna do a bit of a forward fold in just a moment. Kimball, I think we should just leave the drapes as they are, we're, we're taping. I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's all right, just leave it, don't worry, because that noise can be distracting. Now sit on your heels, very gently lower one elbow and then the other down to the floor. And then once both the elbows are down, you want to tilt your head back and make sure your knees are on the floor. Now if you want to challenge yourself, you want to keep your knees close to each other. If you're a little tired today, bring your knees apart and that'll help ease any potential tension in your quad muscles, the upper front of your upper thighs. Tilt your head back and hold. The world looks so much better upside down, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to bring my knees back together. Press with your palms. Let's come up. Supta Vajra Supine Diamond. The posture we just came out of is Supine Diamond. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a forward fold. Inhale the arms up. Take your arms all the way overhead. Palms facing in. Clasp your palms together. Exhale and fold with a straight back. Ron, you can do a full forward fold. I know you've injured your knees, so yes. you're doing the right thing. Make your adaptations. Now, Rob and I are going to come in what's called a rabbit posture, shashank or rabbit. And if you're a little tired, once again, you can bring your knees apart, but make sure your elbows are off the floor. Because when your elbows are away from the floor, you stay alert. Press your palms together, engage your low back muscles, and come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Now, we're going to take you through another very interesting twist. It's called Ardha Matsendra. Let's come sit down. I'm as sweating. we normally would. You're sweating already. <laughs> Great. Tuck your left heel under your right buttock. Cross your right foot over your left knee. I'm going to make a little bit of adjustments because my body needs that. Push your right knee in towards the left. Torque your upper body to the right. So you're already caught away there. Ardha Matsyendra. Ardha is half. Matsy is fish. Matsyendra, lord of the fishes. The whole posture is half lord of the fishes or it's also called half spinal twist in North America. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to push the right knee in with the right hand. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right knee, and then I'm going to use my other hand to help me make the connection. My left hand to my left knee. If your hand does not go to your knee, that's okay. You can do what Ron's doing. You can keep, ideally, I'd like you to maybe place your left hand on the right side of your, uh, outside of your right thigh, simply because it's always a good idea to keep that connection within your body. Take your right hand behind you, turn to look back. Oh, it feels good. It does. And you, you wait, uh, Rob, when we untangle ourselves from this posture, it'll feel wonderful. Because what's happening is every time we do a deep twist like this, we're actually turning the upper body to one side, lower body to the other, and we're depriving the two sides, the two regions of the body of fresh oxygen and blood for just those few seconds. And then blood and air rush in when we release. Now feel it. Inhale, let's come out of that. Release your hands. Whew, it does not feel good because fresh oh, yeah. blood, fresh <laughs> oxygen is rushing wow. in. So that's what it happens. Every time you wring your body and then you un undo yourself, you get all this fresh blood rushing in. Tuck your right foot under your left buttock. Cross your left foot over the right thigh, over the right knee. Make sure the left foot is flat on the floor and the, if the front of the foot faces the front of the mat. Push your left knee in, torque your upper body to the left. Make adaptations as your body asks for it. 
Now Ron is going to do the twist, but he doesn't have to fold his knee the way we are doing, simply because he's injured his knee, if you've injured yourself, be careful, be mindful. Hold on to your left knee with your left hand, inhale the right arm up, exhale, dip your right elbow over your left knee, and then I'm gonna again help myself, hold on to my right knee with my right hand, take the left hand behind you, and then turn to look back. So when we turn, that's when we get that beautiful sensation of twisting. And when we untangle ourselves, we have this wonderful release of fresh blood, fresh oxygen flowing through the body. That's why we feel energized. There goes your belt. Inhale, release your hands first, and then untangle your legs. Extend your left leg out in front of you. Marich Asan, Marich literally means ray of light. It was also the name of a sage. Bring your left foot, keep your left, right foot flat on the mat, close to your inside of your upper left thigh. And bring, leave a little bit of room uh, for your body to go forward. So you want to bring your knee out a little bit. Hold on to the right ankle with the left hand. Inhale, the right arm up. Keep your left foot flexed. Exhale, wrap your right hand around the other way and over. So you're going to come forward, bring, that's it. Wrap your right hand around your right knee. Take your left hand from behind and then clasp the opposite fingers. Now, if you're not ready to make that connection today, use props, use a belt. And like Ron is doing, Ron is using a belt every day. He's going to inch his fingers one inch closer, a little closer, till he's ready to let go of the belt. And then you want to look over your right shoulder, Ron. That's it. So that way you get take your left shoulder back, look over your right shoulder, you get a full pectoral stretch on the upper left side of the body. Inhale, release your hands, and then let's switch legs. Extend the right leg out, fold the left leg in. Keep the left foot close to the inside of your upper right thigh. Hold on to the left ankle with the right hand. Marich Asan, Marich is ray of light. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Wrap your left hand around the left knee. Take your right hand from behind and clasp the opposite fingers. Once you've made that connection, look over your left shoulder and take your right shoulder back. So you want to get the maximum opposition in your upper and lower body. So you feel the twist. Inhale and release. Release your hands first. Keep your left leg bent. Attach the sole of the left foot to the inside of the upper right thigh. Left knee is down to the floor. Right leg is extended. Right foot is flexed. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to inhale. Take the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling. Take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Clasp your palms together. Exhale and fold. Now wrap your palms around the soles of your feet. And if your hands do not get to your feet today, that's okay. You can place your hands at your ankles. But notice if you flex your foot, it gets a little closer. It gets a little easier for your hands to get over your feet, over your foot. And once you've made that connection, give yourself a little bit of a massage. Remember, 72,000 nerves end in the soles of the feet and the palms of our hands. So we are giving all these nerves lead to various glands and organs. So we are massaging the internal organs. Rob, other than someone punching you in the gut, this is a great way to get a massage. Oh. Press your palms together. Inhale, come up. Exhale and release. And let's switch legs. Extend the left leg out. Fold the right leg in. Attach the sole of the right foot to the inside of the upper left thigh. If we're able to complete maybe another three or four, we've got about three minutes or four minutes left. Inhale the arms up, take it all the way overhead, clasp your palms together, exhale and fold. <clears throat> Janu Sirsha. Janu is knee, Sirsha is head, literally head to knee. Your forehead may not touch your knee today, that's okay. The idea is to aim for your knee. Inhale, come up, keep your arms up where they are, extend the right leg out into Paschimottan. Paschimottan or bird beak. Exhale and fold. Both palms over the soles of your feet and pull your body forward. Inhale, come up one more time. Exhale and release. Tuck your left heel 
under your right buttock, cross your right foot over the left knee. This time, soles of both your feet face the back of the room. And you want to make sure, if you can, keep them nicely aligned on both sides. Mine is a little bit wonky, but I'm trying, I'm getting there. Right knee is up, inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip the left hand behind the base of your neck. Take the right hand from behind and clasp the opposite fingers. Once you made that connection, take your triceps back, your left elbow back, and look up and breathe. Don't forget to breathe. When we say hold your hold, it's always hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale and release. And let's switch legs. Very gracefully, untangle your legs and tuck your right foot under your left buttock. Cross your left foot over your right knee. Soles of both your feet face the back of the room. Left knee is up, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right hand behind the base of your neck. Take your left hand from behind and clasp the opposite fingers. Once you made the connection, let's look up. Take your triceps back, your right elbow back, and look up. Go Mukha, cow face. Go is cow, Mukha is face, cow face. The knees align one on top of the other, supposed to remind you of a cow. And the elbows going up, Rob, oh, yeah. is the ear of a cow. Yeah. Inhale and release. <gasps> then swing right back. Take the left leg all the way to the back. Keep your right leg where it is. Kapot or pigeon. Use your toes. Curl your toes in to push your knee back. When you've gone as far as you can, you want to come down. Credits are rolling, which means we have a minute and a half. I think we can comfortably do at least two postures. Now, we're sitting up nice and tall, nice and centered. Exhale and fold. Lead with the chest. Press with your palms. Let's come up and let's switch legs. While we are in the process of transitioning into the other side, we'd like to thank our director, Josie and her. Josie, and thank you for holding the fort. You're literally flying solo today. Swing the right leg all the way back. Curl your toes in to push your right knee as far back as you can. That'll bring your pelvis close to the floor and then uncurl your toes. Both palms beside the left knee. Exhale and fold. Deshaun Pretler, thanks for the studio setting. Cesar Dipara for the body music, opening track from Sapta Tandava. Inhale, let's come up, and glide your right knee under your buttocks. So come in gracefully, sit on your buttocks, take both hands behind you. So from, uh, from the pigeon or kapot, I'm gonna take you through a posture called Maha Mudra. Maha is grand, mudra is gesture. Literally, the whole body in itself is a gesture, so it's called Maha Mudra, a full body gesture. Exhale, grand gesture, exhale, and fold, lead from the chest. You could also do what I'm trying, bring your palms together in what we call a reverse namaste, which you might see now as I fold over. Inhale, come up. And then let's keep going while the cameras are still rolling. We are having so much fun. Bring your legs out in front of you from Maha Mudra.